What's up guys, ComputerMD of Gilbert here, and today I'm going to show you how to add a light box to your Wix website. Before we begin, I'd like to announce this. Um, I'm not sure if any of you watching my channel have known this or know this is available from me, but this is actually a client's website that I've been uh, developing and building. Uh, right now it's called Virtually Raised. Go check them out. As soon as the website's complete, I will add a link in the description below. But if you guys need some web design done in Wix, I am here to help you. Um, I do uh, offer pretty affordable web design. But if you guys are up for trying it by yourself and want to learn Wix by yourself through my videos, I actually just started to create a Wix course. You could go sign up using my link in the description below. Um, but this is the uh, just landing page for the Wix course and you would simply click notify me when it's live and it actually takes you to a light box to sign up and I'll send you progress reports of how the course is coming along and um, how the curriculum is going to be and the bonuses you'll receive in enrolling for the course. Uh, so if that's something you guys are interested in checking out, please go ahead and do so. Other than that, let me show you how to add a light box to your Wix website. So you're simply going to go over here to add. Once you go to add, you're going to scroll down to lightbox. When you get to lightbox, you're going to see there's a lot of different options. So I'll go back up to the top here to the welcome. You have welcome lightboxes. Uh, you have subscribe lightboxes. So this will be for like joining a mailing list or getting on the list. You have promotions, so sales, coupons. Um, and then you'll also have contact light boxes to get people to uh, contact you. Um, those are effective and it's all depending on what type of business you're trying to run. On this website, we use this one, the promo Hey You. And you would simply click on it. Once you click on it, it'll bring you into this. And up here, you'll see light box mode. So you could exit light box mode by clicking that. Now to get back into lightbox mode, you would simply click that pages button up there and then go to lightboxes and then you would go and edit your lightbox. So then once you go into here, you could simply double click the text, change the text around, click your picture, double click it to change your image. I can show you once it'll load here. Change image, it'll bring you into your media library where you can choose whatever image you'd like to upload. Right here, double click, change your text, and then this is a button. So this button could go to wherever you want. It could go to a different link. Um, it could go to a different uh, page on your website. It could be a document, an email, um, another light box, anything. Um, so you could link a document. So if you're trying to get people to sign up for your book, um, this could be effective with a different type of light box, but when they click it, it'll download the ebook that you want them to sign up for. So it's very cool. Um, works very well. Uh, something that Wix definitely had to implement, um, and I'm glad they did. But yeah, you could simply do that, and then to change the design of your light box, you would go into here, and you would simply go to design, change the color, change the background to whatever you want. And then the final thing with the light box is setting the triggers. So the triggers are what makes it open. So automatically display the light box on pages. You could either click yes or no. I would probably say on this you're going to want yes and then you choose what home or what page it opens on. Right now it says on home page. Um, personally, I would check the box right here that says first page visitor C. So some people might land on your about page when they first get onto your website. So you obviously want to capture their information right when they get on that about page. Um, if not, you would simply just choose whatever page. And if you don't choose the home page, uh, then I would definitely use the first page visitor C. But if you don't choose that, I would go with the home page because most times out of not, that's the page people land on. So then you would set that so that sets what page it opens on when it opens and then this delay is how many seconds they're on the website before the light box pops up so this could be a short or as long as you want it to be it could be 43 seconds after they're on the website or it could be five seconds after the website 
You would simply choose that depending on what you think would work best and maybe what works best for people in your target audience. And then finally, you could see your light box can be triggered by any button or link on your website. So you could also have a link to the light box that'll open it. Um, that depends on how you want to go. Usually you have it pop open uh, just automatically and that's much easier to use. And finally, you could choose how the light box closes. So you'll see this little X icon right here. People can close it with that or there is a close button that would pop up in the preview um, that they could click that and it'll also close. Uh, after that, that's about it on managing and creating light boxes here in Wix. Once again, if you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you out, please leave a like down below. Um, if you have any questions, don't be afraid to comment. I'm here to help answer your questions. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert as I have a ton of Witch content coming up and I'm excited to move along with you guys. And one last thing, once again, don't forget to go check out my link in the description below. Wixmywebsite.com is the link um, to go get on the list to be notified for when this course is done. If you're anything involved in Wix and you're trying to learn more about Wix, you're not going to want to miss out on this course. It's going to be an excellent opportunity for you to advance your learning in Wix. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. And also don't forget, this is a client website that I'm on. If you guys are interested in having me design your Wix website, I'm here to help you. And if that is something you so choose, feel free to email me. My email is also in the description below. Other than that, guys, you have an excellent rest of your day, and thanks for spending a couple minutes with me.